G'day guys and gals and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4's Best Mods. Now I know some of you may be wondering when the next gameplay video is coming out or whether I'll ever start my Fallout 4 playthrough. And to you, I say, never fear, as those projects are on the table. However, life finds a way to mess with plans. As my partner has fallen quite ill, so recording times have become a little more scarce. So, in the meantime, I have these bonus episodes for the Fallout 4 mod series. Now, if you haven't seen the series of which I speak, look in the top right hand corner of your screen now and click the card to go have a look at the complete overhaul that we have achieved. But today, we're going to move on to a way to make our game move that little bit faster. Roll the intro. It is the unofficial HD pack creation guide by Symology. Now this creation guide does come with a blank ESP file that we need to download. So we'll just manually download that and get that ready for later. And given we've already downloaded the creation kit, this is a very simple thing to do. But first of all, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go grab some texture mods. So I've already mentioned a few back in my video and this model also uses a similar selection plus a couple that I do use but don't think I mentioned. Anyway, these are all good to go check out but what you're going to want to do is manually download the ones that interest you. Now, you're basically gonna make your own mod, uh, bundle them into your own singular mod and it's going to allow the game to load those faster but your game will obviously run quicker without having 4K textures for everything. So do know your system's limitations and only download the textures that you want. However, even 1K textures are significantly better than Bethesda's ones. This author here even says these are very performance friendly textures and they are half the size of the original. So what you wanna do is you wanna select a whole host of texture mods that you're interested in and you want to download them all into a single location. Now again, to do that manually, you just want to not download it with a mod manager. You want to download them manually. So you want to click on that and you want to save it somewhere. Now it's not tricky in the slightest to do this. Uh, he even provides pictures for you to know exactly what is happening, which is good but I'm just going to run through this with you. So what we have on screen right now is our Fallout 4 folder, our Fallout 4 creation kit, and the W plugin that we downloaded just before. I also have on my desktop two texture mods that I am going to use in this demonstration. So what we wanna do is we're gonna create a new folder on our desktop, and we just wanna make this our working folder. So I'm just gonna name it working for now. And we just wanna open that sucker up and extract our textures into it. So we'll open up the Distressed Ripper and we'll come down here until we find the texture folder. Now, some texture mods uh, do provide materials and meshes also. So if they have materials and meshes, you want those two folders as well. In the end, depending on the mods you're installing, you'll probably end up with a meshes, a materials, and a textures folder. Uh, what we are going to do right now is just bring over our textures because that's all that they have. And then we just want to grab our telephone retexture as well. So all the mods that I bundled only use the textures mod, so I only had to create one archive file. If you have meshes and material folders, you're going to have to create two additional archive folders. Do not try to add all three of these together. It won't work. So in our creation kit, we want to go back into tools and archive two and open up archive two. And once we have Archive 2 open, it is a simple case. This time, not of just dragging and dropping, we do want to go File New because we need to change the format. When you are using textures, only textures, you need to change this to DDS. If you are doing a Meshes or a Materials Archive, you want to keep it on General. So we're going to go DDS because we're going to do the textures this time, and we want to leave everything else the same. Don't touch this other stuff, there's no need to. So format is DDS, click OK, and now it's a simple matter of just grabbing our textures, dragging them over, dropping them in. Now it's a simple matter of going File, Save As, like before, going to our working folder on our desktop, and let's just make a new folder. <laughs> called archives and we just want to save our BA2 archive file in here. Now what you're going to want to do is choose a name for your mod. Once you have a name for it you also want to go space hyphen space and put in textures and then we want to click save. Okay, so under archives, we should now have yep, my awesome mod hyphen textures.ba2. Beautiful. Now, I am going to pretend we have the other two as well. If you have materials and meshes, you're going to want to go file, 
new make sure you have a general format click OK and then what you want to do for the meshes same thing as materials and textures you want to grab it drag it in comes all your files that you have you want to go file save as and then under here you want to make sure that you name it my awesome mod space hyphen space meshes so what you have by the time we are done here we can close out of archive 2 now is our mod name space hyphen space materials meshes and textures now very important that your mod has the exact same name before this space hyphen space has to be identical or else it won't work now that we have that we want to grab our dummy plugin we'll just extract that into the same folder and guess what we're going to name this that's right we're going to name this my awesome mod so just overwrite the dummy file name with my awesome mod there we go and now we just need to pop all this stuff into our data folder. So we come over to our data folder, which is where all your mods get put. It's where the mod BA2 files and ESP files go, which is exactly what we have over here. We have an ESP file and we have BA2 files. So we simply just want to grab Control C or right click copy. And then we want to come over here and Control V or right click paste. And there is uh, my awesome mod with our texture mesh and material files that is in our Fallout 4 data folder. So once you've done that, it's very simply uh, heading into the game and activating your ESP. Or if you have a mod manager like Nexus Mod, you just want to go into your Nexus Mod Manager and make sure you tick to activate your awesome mod. And that's it. If you only had a few texture packs to install, you may not have found a noticeable increase in load times, but if you're packaging 10 gig, 20 gig, 30 gig into that archive, which wouldn't be hard with 4K texture packs, you should see an improvement over having those same packs installed loose. So if this video was helpful to you, make sure you like and share this with anyone else you know that has a ludicrous addiction to loosely installed texture packs. In the next episode, I'll be revealing the load order I use with the mods listed in this series and showing you how you can reorder your load order for better behaved mods. So until next time guys, have fun in the wasteland and take care.